Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to discuss the biggest query of the students which they are having nowadays that is GATE versus ESE what to choose because railways has released their vacancy and number of vacancies has increased so people are thinking of ESE examination as well and the date of examination is very near on 1st of Feb and 2nd of Feb we might be having our GATE examination and, and on 9th of Feb we are having our ESE examination so how to manage both of the things so this we will see point by point so this video we i have divided in four types the first type will be the students who are sure about going for masters the second type who are confused between government job or phd job but masters is also there in their back of mind that master is not uh, completely gone they can go for masters as well the third type of students are who are confused between phd or ese there is no plan of masters and fourth type of students are who is going all out for ESE, they are not even thinking of gate examination. So, I will discuss each point one by one, what are the pros and cons, so everything I will discuss. So, if you are someone who is sure about pursuing masters, who is sure about MTech, then forget about ESE, okay. Vacancies are there, vacancies has increased, people are talking about that, but forget about it. Your goal is to go for masters, then just think of preparing gate. That's it, that's it about your video. You can end this video, okay. If you are sure about masters, just prepare or just prepare for gate examination and think about nothing else okay now the second students who are inclined towards psu and government job more inclination is towards psu and government job but but masters is still there in your mind okay you can still go for masters so you are puzzled you are sandwiched between these two things so now there could be two types of student in type 2 only there are two types there could be students who are done with less than 5 subjects, that means they are not uh, doing that good in their preparation. They might be doing that well in their preparation, but uh, the syllabus completion is far. And the other student would be those who are done with more than 5 subjects. So, those who are done with less than 5 subjects for GATE 2025, for them I will tell, for them I will just uh, tell them to focus on GATE examination until GATE 2025. Just focus on the GATE examination because if you keep on focusing on ESE before the gate examination then you are gonna mess up your gate examination for sure and certainly ESE as well because ESE syllabus is vast you are not going to cover that up so if you are done with less than five subjects then I would say focus on your gate syllabus completion until the gate examination once you are done with the gate syllabus after that you can start non-tech and in non-tech you need to do the selective study once you are done with the gate examination you can start the non-tech and you need to do the selective study. What do I mean by that? You need to see the important topics. From important topic, you need to study. But in ESE, there is a fixed pattern that from 5% to 15% of the questions will come from all the topic. And uh, mathematics and uh, aptitude along with that ethics, that is a simple topic. Power management also I assume a simple topic only and current affairs. So all these combined will be of 70 marks, roughly around 60 to 70 marks. So this kind of selective study you can do. And if it is required, I can make the video as well okay and uh, then you can complete the remaining technical subject if time permits so your order should be first i will complete the gate syllabus okay once i am done with the gate syllabus because till gate examination you will not be able to cover the gate syllabus so till the gate examination you will cover the gate syllabus only after that you will be left with six to seven days there you need to do the selective study of non-tech that's it this is what you can do so if you are someone who is who can go for masters okay then I would recommend this thing only that do not mess up your gate examination. Now coming to those guys who are done with more than five subjects, okay, who are done with more than five subjects, who are done with more than five, six or seven subjects. So they can complete their syllabus. They can complete their syllabus early on. That means they can complete their syllabus by mid of November or by the end of November or in the mid of December as well. So if they are going to complete their syllabus in the mid of December, then what they will do? They will start writing the full length test. They will keep on revising their previous subject of gate. Along with that, you can start the technical subjects. Which technical subject you are going to start? Which are common in your second paper? Let's just say I am from EC branch and I am also writing my gate paper in instrumentation. I am also writing my gate paper in instrumentation as well. So once I am done with my gate syllabus, which subject I will pick? I can pick basic electrical engineering because there I will be studying electrical machines so that will be helpful for me in your in my ESC examination as well also in my instrumentation examination as well I can pick EMT electrostats and magnostats that will be helpful in my instrumentation examination as well and also in my ESC examination as well 
so that what if you score well in your instrumentation examination and what if you may use this score for masters so it is a win win situation so first you are going to complete the gate syllabus after that you will be going for if time is left if you are if you are good enough with your gate preparation and time is left then you will be going for those subjects which are common common between your esc syllabus of your branch and the second paper of your branch now i am not going to uh, pick uh, material science in ec in esc examination in uh, electronics stream there is a subject called material science so that i am not going to pick before my gate examination before my gate examination why is that so because that will not be helpful for me in neither in instrumentation neither in ec gate that will be only helpful in ec examination so that i am going to cover after gate so till gate i am going to cover whatever that can help me help me in my primary subject that means in ec along with that in instrumentation the same can be done by electrical students as well like if i am done with electrical core or everything if i am done then i will start studying communication because communication can be helpful in instrumentation in ec and also it can be helpful in my esc examination as well so this way you need to match the syllabus and proceed in your preparation okay and once you are done with everything if time is left in 7 to 8 days you can cover the non tech part okay so this is how we are going to do and for non tech part how to do and which part you need to cover how you can do the selective study for that i will bring a video if it is possible because for that i will also have to do the research i have prepared for esc i have also sub, uh, studied those non tech sub subject but not that deeply so i am not having much idea so i will have to do the research then i can think of bringing the video so this is about our type 2 okay if you are sandwiched between if you are not sure what we need to do so always we will have a backup of masters if you are having a backup of masters masters that means you need to do decent in your gate examination at least decent you need to do that means you need to secure a rank around 1000 at least or 1500 at least that much rank you need so for that i am telling this thing okay so for those guys i am telling whatever that i have explained right now third one so these guys are confused between psu and esc forget about masters masters is gone i am not on a i am not going to go to iit or nit i am not going to uh, invest my next two years i will be going for the job if you are someone who is who is required to do the job if family condition are not there or whatever your reasons are if you are someone who is going for the job only so for them what what is the first condition that you must be you must have completed six subjects already why is that so because if you are aiming for psus that means you need to secure a rank around 4400 to 500 at least 400 500 in case of ec you would require 300 and in case of electrical it would go to 600 700 as well so at least this much rank you need so for for that at least you should be done with five to six subject right that much subject should be done okay so again i am telling till gate you should focus on gate subjects only but along with that you can start studying now in this what is the thing that uh, here psu and esc both are your priority that uh, if you are getting psu then also you are happy and if you are getting esc then also you are happy so what i would suggest is that prepare very well for gate examination first and then if time is permitting i will take uh, non tech subjects of esc i am not going to take that technical subject of esc why is that so because in prelims non tech will be of 200 marks and technical will also be of 200 marks so both are equally important now in previous cases when student was going for masters i told them to focus on technical part why is that so because that will be helpful in gate examination now here my secondary paper will not be helpful if i am going for psu let us say i am ec student so even if i am securing rank 1 in instrumentation that will not help me for psus so why should i focus on instrumentation now if i am sure about psu if i am sure about psu by my ec score card then what i should focus on i should focus on esc and when i go to esc what do i find that in prelims non tech and tech both are of equal importance so which part i should give importance because technical at least for 150 marks i have covered in gate examination only but in non tech i did not have covered much of, much of the subjects i did not have covered much of the subjects so for that i need to cover the subjects so what will be my priority in this case what will be the priority the priority will be first gate syllabus then non tech of esc and then the rest of the technical part of esc so after completing the gate syllabus i will go to the non tech part of esc 
okay so that would be my priority because second paper will not will not be of any use if i am going for psu say yes or no right now fourth type who is going all out for esc 25 like forget about gate and all i will go for esc only forget about psu forget about anything i am going to be the officer officer of indian government so if you want that first thing is it is not recommended for gate 25 i am not recommending it for gate 2025 for gate 2026 guys can do it but uh, the notice has come on a very short term like it has come very quickly so this is something i do not recommend for gate 2025 guys even if you are done with seven subjects or six subject still i am not recommending but if you are so much of if you are having the complete surety that i will go for esc 25 only then go for it but at least you should be done with 7 to 8 subjects if you are done with 7 to 8 subjects then just uh, cover the 7 to 8 subjects after that what you can do you can cover the non technical part or you can cover the technical part as well because whatever you need to do your target is esc 25 so first what you need to do cover the gate syllabus after that you can go to the non technical part of esc and then you can cover the remaining technical part of esc because non tech covering non tech for prelims is very important after prelims you will get enough time to prepare for other tech part as well but non tech covering non tech is very important if you are going for esc so just once you are done with your gate examination after that you need to pick the non tech part and then you can go for the tech part if you are sure about esc 25 and those guys who are thinking for gate 2026 and onwards so first decide your goal whether i want to be a officer or i want whether i want to be a officer of indian government or i want to be a officer in psus or i want to pursue my masters and work in mncs or i want to do phd or anything like that so first decide your goal and start preparing accordingly okay once you have decided the goal let's just say i have decided my goal that i want to go for masters then forget about esc don't even look at that if i have decided to go for masters i will just prepare for gate if i have decided to go for go for railways or telecom services or just if i have decided to be in the indian government then i will only prepare for esc i will not even think of gate like gate will be there as a backup option but majorly i will be preparing for esc and if i have decided to go for psus then majorly i will be preparing for gate only because psus will help me in gate so that you need to decide accordingly and then you can prepare just have a clear mindset and go in that direction only don't be confused gate esc just have a clear mindset that i need to do this thing only and then go for that that's it from my side regarding this particular video i hope now you are having a clear path what you need to do i hope i have covered all the types so this they can read about who are going for esc 25 or who are confused between psu and esc not going for masters at all and those who are going for those who are in between psu government job masters anything we can get masters is still there so there are two types less than 5 subjects completed more than 5 subjects completed and first one is who are sure about pursuing master so if you are sure about pursuing master then why you need to think about gate now lastly talking about the offer that is running on our prep fusion channel so on completing the 10k subscriber we are running a special offer okay so we are offering a huge discount 30% off on the test series test 30 is the code 25% off on the gate courses on all the gate courses you are getting 25% off so you can see these courses you can apply the code gate 25 and avail the gate courses and 20% off is there on our placement courses so you can apply the code job20 and get a 20% off along with that there is this special offer for first 10 students only you need to apply the code fusion50 and you are getting 50% off on all the full courses 50% off on the full courses for gate 126 and this is the road to iit course for gate 225 so you are getting 50% off on all the courses well and good so i hope it is all clear i hope this video was helpful Okay then thank you very much happy learning